There it is. The lineup going into the final. And quite a bit of tie there between Josh Grant and fourth. You scan in seventh. Let's get an Oakley starting grid report from Kristen. Thanks, Ralph. Joey Savacci finished the 2018 Supercross season fourth overall in the 250 West class tonight. He's making his debut for the Monster Energy Kawasaki team on a 450. Joey said this opportunity is a clean slate. He may not have won a championship, but he led laps and he stayed healthy. That's what he's bringing to this Kawasaki team. Consistency. And after speaking with team manager Dan Fahey, that is the goal. They want Joey to, yeah, capture some of Eli's explosive production, but they want him to adjust to this 450. He said progress is key, and they want to move his program from consistent to consistently on the podium. And something to note, guys, Joey Savashi was only signed to a one-year contract, so the performance expectations and window are set for the 24-year-old. Guys? Tomorrow on FS1, the NHRA countdown to the championship continues. With only three races remaining, these Warriors of the Drag Strip go all out in the Carolina Nationals in Charlotte. Action starts tomorrow at 2 Eastern on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Well, remember Trey Kennard, the last rider to be in this position with a shot like this, and it didn't work out so well for Trey. Yeah, such an incredible ride Kennard had, and then that final moto right here, he's just battling and slid down. Yeah, this was the one, though, Trace chasing after Millsaps. Had the million in his sight. Devastation is not cashing it in, but it was right there. Well, a year ago, Muscan made it happen. I, I mean, the way that Tomac is so dialed in right now, I mean, it's going to be hard to get against. Monster Energy with Spider Camp. Will they be writing two $1 million checks here? And all the fans up there in that Monster Energy got to just we got the smell of the fuel, the noise, everything right there in front of those seats. Are you ready to see if someone can take up a million dollars Vegas? Here we go. Dropping the gate and racing to the first corner. Tomac sandwiched back in the middle of the pack. Sabachi gets through. He's got the lead. And Reed is right there with him. Can Tomac get through this and win it? Tomac's about six. The Sabachi gets a, a great start. Where is he? There. Right there behind Mike Anderson. Anderson, just in front of Grant and Baggett. Oh boy, the worst start of the night comes at the worst possible time. Eli Tomac. Let's see how he goes into the sand here. He was and so was Anderson. Both riders extremely confident, very strong through the sand section. But Tomac, he's going to have to earn every bit of that million bucks if he's able to win it here in the next 10 laps. Smith on the 28 there. Just in front of him on the KTM. He wrote it down just before he got into the side of Smith's KTM. Smith trying to catch Malcolm Stewart who holds fourth. Crazy is in third. Then it's Reed and Sabachi out of the front of the pack. Well, like, the tough thing about the track right now is, it, uh, is that it's dried out quite a bit. So the turns where you can really oh, apply a lot of down. very slippery. Muskan down or out, he's talking to Chris. It's Frankie Lane yeah. his mechanic. Yeah, I was just wondering, trying to see what is going on. Now watching the first turn, so Muskan's the number one right on the inside. And watch us as uh, Stewart comes across and gets into Muskan and stands him up. And these riders on the outside were getting, like, we're going to turn back slams on the brakes and he gets by the loose can just way out of the picture there. Right now. Now he got caught up in that as well. Savachi, if he can hold on, Jeff, will finish second overall at this stage. Hey, and let's not overlook who's in second and third right here. Chad Reed with Vince Freezy, the 42. Fantastic ride for him also. Talked to Vince earlier, spoke with his dad earlier today. They're feeling very confident. Ricky, this might be the best shot at some good runs this year Vince Freeze has ever had. 
Yeah, he's riding really good. He's in a good spot right now. It's amazing what a start can do. Get some clean track in front of you. Look at him sailing it over that single jump, trying to get past Reed. Pretty impressive. He's sixth in the overall right now with a tenth and a seventh. And, and guys, Tomac is going to have to make something happen. But this is a short main event, about half of what they normally would ride. The track, unless you take a lot of chances and really try to make something happen, it's a little bit hard to pass. Freezy was 12 for points last year, made all 17 starts. Best finish was a ninth. Rice Apple Stadium in Salt Lake City, and there's Tomac. Tomac sandwiched. Tomac has made the move on Anderson. Boom, Smith. Got Check him off well. the list. Yep. Now, who's next? Malcolm Stewart. So Malcolm is a couple of seconds in front of him, Jeff. So that time around, Tomac was 4.7 seconds behind his teammate, Joey Savacci. The guy on the right there, Jesse Abair. His million dollar dreams riding along with Eli Tomac. And every pass Eli makes, he gets a little bit closer to going home a millionaire. Wow. Tomac is just on a mission right now. The million dollars is right in front. Oh, and he's riding the Kawasaki to its full limit. He's going to press those tires and the chassis set up, give it everything he's got. It's just the way the night has gone for him. It's just, I think he can do it. It's, well, he's right on Malcolm. Here he comes. This would be for Ford. Cuts back inside, not there yet. You can see Breezy just in front of them, holding down third. Watch Tomac, oh, Malcolm guards that inside just like he did in the last race. You're gonna have to go around the outside of him. Let's not forget about the Joker lane either. That could come into play. That's right, they're gonna have to go through the Joker lane. Savanti, Reed, Breezy, Stewart, and then Tomac. in the turn after the Dragons back. That is one of the key passing spots that Tomac is trying to line up. But Malcolm Stewart just being stingy with that inside line. Ricky Malcolm Stewart has a great sense for where his challengers are behind him. He's doing a tremendous job of protecting his position. Yeah, he sure is. He's right. Great defensive. Defensively, there's Eli Tomac trying to make a charge by him. Look at Malcolm going right up the inside. Silky smooth, not doing anything, just riding. His line's been impressive all night long. Four to go. Malcolm is in fourth in the points with a seventh and a fourth. He holds down fourth again right now. Yellow. You see a rider down. Medical crew right there to attend to him. Savachi, Reed, Freezy, Stewart, and Tomac. And nothing changes with five to go. Halfway through, still need to do the Joker lane. Tomac just launched the Kawasaki into that sand section. He gets right on the back of Stewart's wheel. Oh, now he gets oh, on the outside. Is. He's got him. And that's what you have to do on this track. You have to ride aggressive, let it all hang out for the million bucks. Well, that's four. Kenny. One down, Freezy. Freezy's right there in the pit riding here. The rep number 42 as they leap into the sand section once again. So, Tomac, last time around was at 3.8 seconds back. He's going to be a little closer to Savachi, the lead. Now he comes by 4.2, so lost a little bit of time trying to make that pass, but he gained the position, and that's what he needs. The thing is, he's running out of time. Yeah, I mean, the laps are just are just clicking down. Now watch what Tomac does this next time around, coming into this next sand section. There's a double out of the turn, and then he is just not even letting off the throttle. Watch this right here. He scrubs it and then just lays on the throttle, jumps one more roller. Look at how far in he goes, and he's got Breezy. And the crowd here at Sam Boyd is responding, Ralph. Guess who's next? The two-time champion, oh, Jesse. Keep cheering him on, buddy. You're that much closer to a million bucks. And Chad Reed now sits in front of Tomac, the former two-time champion. And Tomac is right Reed. there. Get by Reed. Get by Reed. Do you hear Jesse cheering? He got it. Get by Reed. Oh, One more to go. 
Jesse and you too would be a millionaire here tonight. All right, round 3.3 seconds, three laps to go. Can Tomac reel in his new teammate and spoil his win, but pick up a million bucks for himself and Jesse? And they both have to go through the Joker lane. And don't forget, Savachi is Tomac's brand new teammate who's got just a one-year deal. I mean, you want to make yourself friendly with your new teammate. Can you move over and let him by? Let him pitch. Yes, but, him, Jack. but they're, they're teammates, not in the sense of a football team. They're teammates that they both ride for Monster Energy Kawasaki. They ride for their own individual result. This would be one of the biggest wins of Joey Savacci's career. If I'm Joey, I'm not giving it up. I'm saying, sorry, Eli. If you want to win the million bucks, you got to earn it. Joey comes in here with a fifth and a sixth. He's in second in the overall. Awesome. What a night at the Monster Energy Cup. This guy crosses the finish line to claim a million dollars. And this guy, Jesse's a millionaire. <laughs> event in Monster Energy Supercross, the Monster Energy Cup, and we've got two brand new millionaires 
here in Las Vegas. Eli Tomac stormed through the field, takes three for three, and he and Jesse are millionaires. And Kristen B is with the two biggest millionaires in Vegas. Eli Tomac is now the first two-time Monster Energy Cup champion. I'm going to turn the mic over to Dave Prater of Feld Motorsports for the presentation of the Monster Million. Thank you, Eli. Amazing night. Those first two you made kind of look easy. That last one was amazing. You fought for every inch. So amazing job. And on behalf of Feld Entertainment, I'd like to present you with this check for $1 million. Congratulations. Awesome, bud. Great job. There you go, buddy. All right, Eli, <laughs> moving into a main event with a bad start has to be one of the most demanding circumstances in a race, and you really fought for that one. What were you telling yourself in those final laps? I was just full on. That was all there was to it. I mean, it was just wide open. I was making the passes, and then uh, it was just all the way to the end. Uh, this is just insane, unbelievable. Take me through that pass that you made on Joey Savacci in the final lap. I don't think a person in this stadium has a voice left. Everyone was yelling on their feet. It was so exciting as fans for us to watch. Yeah, that was just, uh, gosh, something else. I mean, all the way down to the wire, white flag. Um, just, uh, of course, that happened that way, and we did it. Crazy. All right, Eli. Now moving towards Anaheim, what kind of message does this send the rest of the field? I mean, uh, our motorcycle was unbelievable tonight. It uh, was turning. It was getting the starts yeah, other than that third one. So. Uh, Gosh, this is just uh, a perfect way for us to get going on this new model. And uh, just, you know, it's almost like the beginning of the season, but same way capping off the season. So such a great year for uh, Monster Energy and Kawasaki for us. Congratulations on the win. Everyone, your newest Monster Energy Cup champion.